Hold on. Just wanted to take a moment to capture that shot right there. Sometimes we just forget to just stop and just take in the beauty of the art design in this because my gosh, look at that. background there gosh gorgeous all right Really? Your meeting had to be within a maze. <laughs> nope. There we go. <laughs> Forget that. Blade Master Telamon? I don't think I've ever heard of this guy before. What needs done? Good, you're here. I'm assuming that Halford has told you about our plan to attack Zuldazar? Let's go over the details. You'll be playing a key part in all Look this. An assault on the city of Dazaralor will destabilize the Horde's relations with the Zandalari. Our goal is to draw them north into Nazmir. We'll hit them with guerrilla tactics and rile up the blood trolls. My people will form strike teams to provide support. And High Tinker Mechatorx engineers will assemble a few surprises for the Horde. The Tide Sages will use the Abyssal Scepter to conceal our true intentions beneath a thick layer of mist. Meanwhile, the fleet will invade Dazaralor from the south. I won't lie. Not everyone will be coming back from this. We need the Horde to believe the attack is real. Sacrifices will be unavoidable. But if we are successful, we can bring this whole war to an end in a matter of weeks. <laughs> you know what I find funny about this? This doesn't hurt the relations between the Horde and the Zandalari. It strengthens it. Because they kill Rastakhan, which makes Talanji and the Zandalari hate the Alliance... Which compels them to be like, you know what? Let's join the Horde. So this plan of theirs backfires on them. And they're like, oh, this will end the war. No, this is not what ends the war. What ends the war is when we finally have Nashatar and the Naga and Queen Ajara finally intervene. And make everyone wake up and realize, oh, there's actually a much bigger threat that... We should probably stop fighting each other to deal with. We are the sons and daughters. So stupid. Now you know the gravity of the situation. We must the begin. The first strike belongs to us. Feed the flame. Combat the darkness. Greetings, Nixadan. I am Blade Master Tilaman, and I have volunteered to lead this mission against the Horde. Our forces will be gathering off the coast of Nazmir. Go now, and we shall all meet there. If all goes according to plan, we will lure the Horde away from Zandalar and bring an end to this. Walk war. your path with confidence. I'll prepare a way to move our troops to Nazmir. We'll meet you in the far reach. This is your last moment to back away, Tilaman. We can find others for this position. I'm willing to do this myself. You said this was a suicide mission, yes? That no one will return? That's correct. Whoever goes will act as bait for the Horde and will be slaughtered by their forces while our main fleet deploys. I understand this well, Halford. I watched as my own planet became a bitter dead husk. All because of the desire for power that some of my people could not control. Your Horde, if left unchecked, will mean the doom of this planet. I am willing to pay any price to ensure no one goes through the same pain that I did. Thank you, Tilaman. Light be with you. And may it be with you, Halford. The light's power shines brightly within you. Do not lose it. <sighs> I 
I hate that they keep referring to, you know, <sighs> that is, what he really should mean is your Sylvanas, if left unchecked, will mean the doom of this planet. Not the Horde. Sylvanas. <laughs> That's the real culprit here. Not the Horde, Sylvanas, as is shown through the rest of the expansion in the war campaign when guys like Saurfang, Thrall, Bane, Lorthamar, Thalystra, all of them show, no, that's not true. <laughs> you see what, again, yet again, another example of what I mean by the slanted writing. But I guess also the in-character perspectives and views of these Alliance characters. That this is what these Alliance characters truly think of the Horde in its entirety. Not Sylvanas. The entire Horde. Right down to its civilians and its children. And I find myself wondering if if Alliance characters like Greymane came into contact with Horde civilians, Horde children, because they are of Horde races, would he stop himself? Or would he actually kill them? Because they are mem because they are races of the Horde. And it's not just Greymane I'm, I'm wanting to single out here. There are other characters I wonder that about, for, you know, in the Alliance. Like, are they wanting to go as far as kill the civilians and the children of the, of the Horde just because they're Horde races? <sighs> well met. Let's go to Nazmir. Farewell. Have a drink of water before I do this. Because I, I know how this went on the Horde side. I'm very interested in seeing how this goes on the Alliance side. Oh yeah, let's go by the Necropolis. Because, of course, the whole thing with Bonsamdi isn't going to come up at all, right? <laughs> I will say, that was a cool fight when I did that. I'm actually looking forward to doing that fight again. That was a fun fight. And I only did one part of that because there was two parts to it. One, you stay outside and fight Rastakhan. The other is you go into that alternate realm and fight Bonsamdi. I was on my Resto Shaman healing. So I was staying outside to heal those who were staying outside to fight Rastakhan. I didn't follow the group that went in to fight Bonsamdi. I remember people talking about when they were talking about the about BOD coming out and they were like, man, this is actually a fun raid. Guys like Preach were, was praising it for some of the mechanics for some of the bosses. Look at these forces. And these are forces that they are saying are going to die out here because they are just simply a diversion. They are all just simply bait to draw the horde heroes, my my hero character and the others, out here away from the city ask the daughter of the sea we're all here let's begin myself and Shaw will provide support for Te for Telamon's army until our distraction is set up first we need to clear the blood trolls out of their nearby village Zalamar in order to move our army forward that's where you come in we need you to assault the blood trolls to there to weaken their forces and then our army will arrive Telamon will be on site to help you. Meet with him once you have weakened their forces. I will be here with Shaw, ensuring our forces aren't seen. At least we're dealing with the blood trolls somewhat here in in, uh, <laughs> in Nazmir. But then again, we did deal with them earlier. The thing is, we've been hearing all about the blood trolls, but basically nothing about Gahoon and Aldir and what's going on there at all. A single spark can set the world aflame. I thought I saw you glance in my direction. We have some additional support for our plan to deceive the Horde and assault the Bloodgates, but we need your help. 
The Dark Iron Dwarves have several mole machines waiting to erupt and supply fresh troops. I've determined several spots within Zalamar that would be perfect for them to use. Take this device and plant it in the following areas. It will send a message to the Dark Iron Dwarves to erupt from there. They will stay safely in their machines until our army arrives. Three areas within Zalamar for the machines to Sleep with one eye open. Alright. I will go do what I can within Zalamar. We will meet again once we have purged the world of these blood trolls. Because we don't don't really do that. Remember, the horde is the is the group that does the heavy lifting of that. Not necessarily with the blood trolls themselves, but with the god that they worship. Not to mention the faceless one, Mithrax, that we spend an entire zone Voldoon seeing the build up towards. The blood god! Blood for the blood god! What? I've played Total War Warhammer. It's too far away. I'm out of range. It's too far away. Oh, hey, a dark iron shaman showed up to help me. Target. I'm like, it's all right. I got this. Thank you for bringing them to me. I need a target. I need to get closer. location for it. A lot of times we came here after the fact. Like we came here basically after the, the Horde character dealt with Hyreek. Is he inside? He is. Embrace tranquility. How many did you kill? Hmm. Seems as if we are at the same number. Good work. Excellent. We are one more step closer to purging the horde. Do not mind this. I am finishing off this insect. You have bigger matters to handle. Our army is moving within Zalamar as we speak, but the horde will know our army's true size without aid. Speak with Brother Pike and have him perform the ritual with the Abyssal Scepter to cover Nazmi in a thick fog. He claims the illusion will also mimic an entire fleet off the beach. Let us hope he is right. I will join you once I finish with this stain upon Nazar. Aga. Let's remember the Lightforged are a bit fanatical. The storm awakens in all of us. The Abyssal Scepter is a powerful artifact. Give me the word and I shall unleash its power. Know that once the fog comes, we will have to move quickly before the Horde and the Zandalari catch on to our plan. Let's guide you. Tides grant us power. Cover this cursed swamp in your fog. Create the veil of a fleet within it. It is done. I will bring the scepter back to the far reach. Good we luck to you cannot let the world fall to darkness. We have our fog. Now we have to move. We have Zalamar and we've got our fog. Now we have to take the attack to the Horde. Our goal is to take as much land in Nazmir as possible to make the Horde think our main fleet is here. The first target in Zul'jan ruins, one of the Horde's main bases in Nazmir. We'll have to make our way through the swamps to our attack position. 
Meet us there. We all have our ghosts. Our destination is Zuljan Ruins. Move out in small groups and sneak through the swamp. Do not engage unless you have to. The true battle lies ahead. We've made it, and still maintain the element of surprise. Through the mists is Zul'jin Ruins, a major horde outpost in Nazmir. We need to take it over to help our forces push forward. The horde needs to believe that a large alliance army is here, so we're going to throw everything we've got at taking the ruins. Our army will charge forward to attack while you join them using my water elemental. Meet me outside of the ruins when you're done. We'll need to keep pushing Control forward. Control your power. Or it will control you. Charge! We must take Zul'jin! Or our entire plan is lost! Oh, wait. Pfft. Oh, okay. So this is what she meant by use my water elemental. While that's going on, I actually need to uh, respond to a uh, important text I just received. So sorry if for a moment I uh, go a bit AFK here. Found out that a friend of ours is uh, in the hospital, so uh, my, folk, my parents were telling me they were going to see him, so just responding and saying, give him my love, hope all is well. Man, why can't my Frost Mage's Water Elemental be this strong? Oh wait, that's right, because my Frost Mage isn't Jaina. Though I did model her after Jaina. That was kind of the idea. <laughs> I made a human female and basically tried to model her after Jaina, and was like, okay, she is only going to be a Frost Mage. My main mage is mainly fire, so I was like, you know, everyone talks about how good Frost is, and I've hardly ever played Frost, so I was like, okay, this is gonna be the character I learned how to play the Frost spec the for Mage. Will not be easy. Good work. Our forces have taken over Zul Zuljan Ruins. We're almost to our main destination. We are within reach of the Bloodgate in Zandalar. Once we take that, the Horde and Zandalari will believe that our full invasion has begun. Our forces have already engaged the Zandalari within the Fallen Outpost. We'll need your help to push them back. I'll be focusing on finishing off what remains of the Horde and Zandalari back in Zul'jin Ruins. What must be done. I'll help our troops in Zul'jin meet with you. All up ahead when sure. you're done. Matthias, sure. Our goal is to assault the Bloodgate, but to be blunt, we don't have the force necessary for this. That's why we have gnomish technology. The Zandalari have ba battle beasts, dire horns, mounted with powerful weapons. Several of these beasts are resting within the Fallen Outpost. This device, the Rediscombobulator, will give us control over these animals. Take this device and use it on these battle beasts. We'll assault the Bloodgates once we have them under our control. I am one with the light. The light is weak. We have reports of a... I'll sneak ahead while you tame those beasts. Good luck. 
We have reports of a goblin machine causing havoc among our troops up ahead. They call it the A-Mod. It is a crude machine compared to what the light forged have aboard the Vindicar. Oh, look at that! An actual acknowledgement that the Vindicar exists! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have also heard a number of people criticize the lack of recognition of continuity in this expansion because people are going, the Alliance have a freaking spaceship. The Vindicar. They have a spaceship with very powerful weapons and advanced technology and the light-forged mechs which destroy anything in front of them. So why have the Alliance not just simply brought in the Vindicar and have them orb you know, do an orbital bombardment of all the Horde cities after what happened to Teldrassil? <laughs> you know, and the writers just said the, like, <laughs> they just refuse to acknowledge it. They choose to ignore it because they're like, oh, this, that's not the, we want to tell a very specific story. So, AKA, we're ignoring continuity to focus on what we want to do. <laughs> Which includes ignoring the Vindicar and everything that brings with it. Uh, if you And this would all be fixed if they just simply said something along the lines of, uh, after the events of Legion, the Vindicar had some technical issues with its drive core or, you know, or just some, some kind of, you know, you know reasoning. That something happened to the Vindicar, that's why it's not being used right now, and, and is out of commission for this for this period of time. That would be kind of an acceptable, like, okay, fine. But they don't even bother. <laughs> I'm sorry if this sounds like a rant, but I've heard this is this has been uh, talked about since this expansion was like in alpha. <laughs> People were just like, you know, ever since the revelation of what happened to Teldra Cell, people were like, well, the Horde's dead. Because, I mean, the Alliance has the Vindicar. Because the Light Forge joined the Alliance. Which itself was kind of stupid. That they, that an organization like that would join the Alliance. And swear fealty to the Alliance. Because that's what happens when you decide to join the Alliance. You swear fealty to, to the King of Stormwind. <laughs> uh. Together you and I will bring down this machine. Go, and I will await for you near the machine and engage it when you are ready. It is impossible. Victory becomes inevitable. I will eagerly await you up ahead, and then we will destroy this goblin monstrosity. Departos! <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my favorite part about uh, the quest to unlock the Light Forge. Departos! Departos was awesome. <laughs> I would love to see him again. We saw him once in that quest, and we haven't seen him since. And I'm just like, where's Departos? Departos was awesome. Give me more Departos. I'm out of range. I need to get closer. I gotta get back to working on leveling some of my allied races. My Light Forged and Void Elf are just kind of like hanging around at like the like level 30-ish or something. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, why? Aren't you just using dungeons to quickly level them? Well, no, I'm not because I don't rush the leveling experience, partly because there's a lot I haven't done in that. I can't attack that. For example, I never got the lore master stuff because you guys gotta remember, I got into this game later than other people did. There was a lot of stuff I just didn't do. There's a, you know, a lot of places I didn't quest through. And I thought, you know what? Since I have a lot of stuff that I've never done or zones I've never quested in before, why don't I just use these characters that, you know, I would be loving to go ahead and do that. Rather than just rush through dungeons, I could just simply take them through those zones and do the questing and get that done if I ever want to actually get those achievements as lore master. You know? Why should I rush the leveling thing? I, you know, just because I want those rewards doesn't mean I want to rush it and not enjoy it in the process. I know it's a different mentality than other players have, but I'm one of those who actually does not want to rush through and get all the content as fast as possible and then complain, there's nothing to do, I've already done everything there is to do, like a bunch of other people tend to do. They get through as fast as possible and then they whine and complain that there's, no, there's nothing to do. 
And I'm like, well then why did you rush through it and not take your time with it and then try to enjoy it as much as you could? Sorry, it's just... It's sorry, I, that's just something that's that's been bothering me for quite some time. It just drove me nuts every time I kept hearing people complain about stuff like that. I'm out of range. I'm out of range. I'm apparently out of range. It's too far away. Besides, it makes it feel like, well, when Shadowlands comes around, considering that, one, the level squish is going to bring it down to 50 or 60, and two, they're going to make it where we can actually level our characters, I think they said 70% faster. It doesn't really seem like that big of a deal anymore, does it? I need to get closer. And we'll still, as they, they made this clear, we'll still be able to unlock that stuff after the level squish. You know, the heritage armor and all that stuff. It'll just be like level 50 or so instead of level 110. I'm still very eager to see how the whole level squish thing is going to affect uh, the whole uh, farming older content stuff. You know, like being able to go to older dungeons or raids for those that drop mounts and such or transmogs. That's still something I'm eager to see. Look at this mook! We'll blow ya out of the sky, Gob Squad style! I will cut down and you down and save this planet. I need to get closer. I mean, dude, if you're wanting to save this planet, go assassinate Sylvanas. Problem solved. I don't have it a target. tranquility. Your pitiful machines are nothing but against the light. Your kind will not be allowed to destroy this planet. Alright, to the blood gate. I'm pretty sure we are about to get to the part where we are setting up uh, the phase where we go into the raid. Because this feels like we're getting close to the final step here. Look at this, we have our own battle beasts. Feed the flame. Combat the darkness. You fought well. It is a shame that we must part soon. I would have enjoyed fighting side by side with you. Aga. We fight in the shadows. Good work. These beasts will be imperative the to take the blood game. Yet. We cannot let the world 66. fall to darkness. We've taken Zul'jin ruins, and with your help, our army will finish off the remaining Zandalari here. We have our forces spread out throughout Nazmir, but we need to do something that will force Rastakhan into action. We must personally march into Zuldazar and take the Bloodgate. This will cause them to throw their full army at us. As you can see, we're the only ones left that can assault the Bloodgate. Shaw and Telamon will stay behind to help the rest of the army move up. You and I will ride the battle beast into the Bloodgate and take it by force. I will never forget. Good luck. Nixon and Lady Jaina, we will ensure the army is here with it when you return victorious. Yeah, we'll see about that. Flash froze all the enemies here. She's on the disc. Of course she is. The moment I saw her using that mount, I was like, okay, I need my mage to get that mount. Because if Jaina is going to acknowledge that and use that mount for herself, 
How can my mage not have that mount either? We've weakened them enough. We must return to signal the armies to move forward. I mean, just look at that. She even rides in on that mount in the raid. I just, that's the first time I've seen a character in this game, other than our own player characters, actually use one of the class hall mounts from Legion. I mean, no other, you know. <laughs> I, I can't recall any other character in this game doing that. What needs done? Excellent. We've decimated the Zandalari front lines and have paved the way for our soldiers to move in. It's time for us to start our main attack. The way forward will not be easy. Shaw reports that Zandalari scouts have been dispatched to alert our, of our, to alert of our full assault. We did it. The Horde and Zandalari will throw their armies at our forces within Nazmir. We cannot let their sacrifice be in vain. We must get back to Boralus and let Halford know it's time to strike. Come, I'll create a portal for us to leave once we say one final we word to Tiamat. We have our ghosts. Tilamon, thank you again for everything. This cannot be easy, giving your life so that we may defeat the Horde. I fought the Burning Legion longer than your known ancestry, Lady Proudmore. I walk with no fear. You have no fear of your own death? The Horde will do terrible things to you, Tilamon. All of our paths lead back to the light. Some can be more painful than others. My only regret is that I will not see this war through to its end. You all have the much harder task ahead. We will not let you down, Tilamon. Your sacrifice will be remembered. Sir, we're under attack. Rokan, I have heard of the Shuttle Hunter. Let us see how powerful he truly is. Wait. Wait a minute. Is that something I can actually see? No. Well, I don't recall actually encountering Telamon on the Horde when I did this on Horde. I do remember Rokon being with me. And Talanji. But obviously I know who wins that fight. Considering that Rokan, well, continues to be a presence. I mean, Rokan's been with us since Frozen Throne. The Horde will fall. All right, this should get me the achievement. Tilamon's sacrifice will be remembered, but for now we must move. Hey, I got it. Tides of Vengeance and two sides to every tale. Which got me. Our work is just the begun. Ironclad Frostclaw. Up, oh, hold on. Screen freeze. Again. I wonder how many players have actually bothered to get this. The two sides to every tail achievement. There it is. Now remember, there's two mounts you get for this, one on each faction. The Ironclad Frostclaw and the Blood Flank Charger. I don't think I can show you the Charger here. It doesn't show up here because the Charger is a Horde only mount. This is the Alliance only mount. You know, uh, you know, basically a, a Frost Wolf uh, with Alliance colors. Captured in the snows of Alterac Valley, this bloodthirsty hunter now roars for the Alliance. Whereas the Charger, I believe, is a Ram or a Horse, I think. Let me see if I can actually... Here it is. Here it is, right here. This is the Blood Flank Charger. Stolen from the Arathi Basin Sables, this fire-hearted Charger now steeds for the Horde. So this is now a mount that I can use on the Horde. It's one of the only Horse mounts that you can use as Horde, just like this is one of the only um, 
wolf mounts that you can use as alliance. Very nice. Very nice. I'd say that is an accomplishment worth tweeting about, being able to do this on both factions. Your legend grows. Ah, look at this. And there it is. Let's see some of these other ones here. Our campaign against the Horde is going strong, but there are some loose threads to take care of. Lady Ashvane was broken out of Toldegor by the Horde. We don't know where she's gone or what she is planning. I sent Kelsey out to track some Ashvane loyalists to get answers. She found them and has requested backup. She's waiting for you in Freehold. We have achieved a great victory, though at a cost. King Rin is gathering the Alliance leadership in Uni Square to discuss matters. He has requested our presence as well. Hmm. I have a feeling this takes place after the raid. When next we meet. Our naval forces are ready to sail for Zul'dazar. By the time we're there, the Horde and Zandalari forces should be in Nazmir. Keishan and Kelsey checked on the bombs placed within Zuldazar Harbor. They are primed and ready to destroy the Zandalari fleet. Gather any of your allies and prepare to set sail for Zuldazar. We will strike down the Zandalari and remove the Horde's most powerful ally from this war. Defeat Rasta Khan in the Battle of Dazar Lorraine. So, it's not defeat Jaina, it's defeat Rasta Khan. So, some people could just simply, eh, and just, you know, oh, look, someone got that mount. Nice. So jealous. I want that mount. Light be with you. Huh. Not bad, not bad. So obviously the idea is that you do the raid first and then you do these because, well, I'm pretty sure the loose ends, even though this talks about Freehold and Lady Ashvane, well, obviously there'd be a lot of fallout from what happens in the Battle of Zarlo raid, so. Anyways, glad I was finally able to pull that off. <laughs> uh, can't wait to see how the other one looks on my Horde character. Sure, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I doubt many players actually bother to do this because some players just simply refuse to play a character on the other faction. They exist, I know they do. There are some players that have only one single character, in fact. I know they exist, so. Anyways, I suppose what is probably going to happen next is I'm going to try and see if I can participate in the BOD raid again, this time from the perspective of the Alliance, even though actually we get to do it from both perspectives. Stay tuned. <laughs>